All right, so this is just going to be a quick how to use MKV and Handbrake, just because some of the other stuff that I've seen, it kind of overcomplicates it by trying to explain what an MKV file and all that stuff is in the video. Uh, it's not really necessary to know how to do this. It's super easy. First thing you want to do, Google Bing, wherever you get, you know, your, your downloads. Look up, make MKV. That's it. You can already see I've already had a not working, but that's not relevant. Download it. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to get out of here. And then once you have it downloaded and set up, this is what it's going to look like. My disk tray is open because I'm about to load in the disk, so we are going to do that now. Boom. Now it's reading it. And it's going to, you know, it's going to say whatever movie it is that you're using. And while this is loading, I'll just say that this does work for DVD and Blu-ray but I haven't had any 4K experience and I've seen some things saying the 4K doesn't work uh, well or at all. And there we go. Um, so if you're trying to use a 4K and you have a 4K optical drive, it may or may not work. I can't promise you it will work, but I promise you that the Blu-ray and the DVD does work. So there we go. We have it reading it. It's just, you know, seeing what's on there, seeing what's going on. Cause when we run it, basically it's just going to decrypt. There we go. It's just going to decrypt all the files just because there will be a uh, decryption set up so that you can't rip it and, you know, sell it and all that stuff, even though this does work. And I also want to let you know that Make MKV is free, but they finally fixed it to where the freeware, quote unquote, um, it will be unusable unless you buy it after the free period. So if you don't want to pay for it, do as many as you can, as quick as you can during that free period. But if you do pay for it, I think it's about sixty dollars, something like that. And honestly, um, I thought it was worth it. A, a little high, maybe, but like, granted, it could be worse. And then when this finally loads up, um, you're gonna want to uncheck all your boxes, or else it's gonna grab all of these files. And you only need uh, nine times out of ten, you're gonna just need the largest one, which is quote, you know also gonna be your longest one. So we have our 28 gigabytes, which is going to be the full movie. And then your audio, you're going to want to leave um, just the one selected is what I usually choose. I mean, you don't have to. I usually just pick just the first one just because they're all they're all just repeats, unless I'm wrong. But I haven't had any problems so far. So I usually just pick the first one, which is usually the 5.1. Actually, I did the wrong one. There we go. Which is usually the 5.1. And then you're going to want to set a file of where it's going. I already have a file of uh, MKV files file uh, folder. So all I have to do is hit make MKV and then it'll take about anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. I don't think any of them have been longer than maybe 40 minutes. So you're looking at about a 40 minute wait just to get that from the disk to the MKV file. All right, and then at the very end of all that, you should get a copy complete one title save little, you know, type of menu. I'm just going to hit OK, and then we are done with make MKV unless, you know, obviously, unless you have another one, you go back to it, repeat those steps, same situation. You're going to want to go and download Handbrake. Just look up Handbrake. It'll come up because of the MKV thing you've already looked up. It'll, it'll come up. And then same concept. You go on here, download it. I already have it downloaded, and you should see your movie that you've already done in wherever folder you put it so like i did malignant earlier the howling is the one we just did it's right here uh fright night i did the other day that kind of thing so you're gonna want to open up your handbrake see there's malignant i had already done you're gonna go to open file not batch scan file since it is just a single file pick whatever you want or whatever movie you did you know all that good stuff and then you're not gonna mess with any of this you can mess with some of this but most of the time it's going to cap out at 1080, 30, you know, 1080p, 30 frames per second anyway, so you're not going to want to. You're going to want to go to dimensions, though, and make sure all these are zeroed out. Make sure everything is zeroed out so that your display size is still the same as before. And same with your aspect ratio. And see, everything's solid right out the gate. Then you're going to go over to subtitles, unless you want them on there. I don't know if it'll actually burn them in or not, but I always uncheck these just in case. So then it's just the movie itself and not the uh, subtitles burned in on the bottom or anything. 
And as you can see, you know, here's the movie, here's our movie. It's just a preview of what's going on. And then you can change the name, obviously. Have it set to wherever you want to go. See, there's all the other ones I've done. Uh, we're going to save it as just the howling. We're going to take off all this extra stuff and save. And then now see, it's going to save it as uh, the howling in our movies folder. And all you're going to do is hit start and code. And then it's going to show you your little progress down here. It's usually going to tell you how much time you have remaining similar to MKV. And then once this is done, you will have your MKV file as an MP4 format. That way you can view it properly, um, the audio is proper, you can, you know, mess with it, download, or not download it, you can mess with it in, um, like a video editor, whatnot, you know, make clips out of it, whatever you want to do with it. You can also download it to another DVD, Blu-ray, whatever you want, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I don't recommend selling them, just because that's where you start running into legal issues and all that good stuff, but yeah, th those are the super simple steps, that's all you have to do. And it works. Uh, let me let me pull up all the other ones. See, there's our file. We will go to where to go. Videos, yes, and then movies, and then see. I mean, it works. I've done it a million times.